you're actually using the note trees, the materials to assign some complicated notes to make the same effect directly being rendered in banner as we can see. So here's my some of the very basic shading types we can see for now. That uh, actually I use the multiple uh, types of the notes like the uh, uh, edge to describe that to tell the engine to determine which part is the edge part and then the uh, we add on scratch and the uh, difference materials to tell the difference between the bevel and uh, the scratched areas of those kind of metal pieces uh, so that we can uh, in our final renders we can find it, it more realistic like the real metals in our uh, true life as we can see like the CGI seems in that pretty like a very heavy battle with ADMs and you can find a lot of uh, bullet curvatures or some damaged areas uh, with the ray reflection. Uh, so there will be different types of the multiple materials being used in that. So I do not want to get them being detailed, described uh, in these lessons right now. And uh, if there will be any further chances, I want to get, be, get them being explained uh, more detailed later. So uh, some of them will be complicated, but some of them I just want to make it a little bit easier. And uh, uh, I do not want to make the whole part uh, too complicated and uh, too much notes trees will make uh, our cycles under heavy burdens and may affect our final compositing or render and uh, dramatically increase our render time. So I also do not want to waste too much time on that since the animations and the rigging will just be the next part to uh, finally uh, making our own CGI movies in Blender as our personal work. And I hope that you can just follow my step and uh, just got it down and make very nice project as well. And do not always stick down some steel frame uh, renderings in order to make ourselves become a uh, uh, all round scaled uh, motors, I think it is also pretty necessary for us to fully uh, explore the most profound functions in Blender and make our become uh, powerful enough. So, the next part I also want to introduce is the wings that it's making mastered is also a little bit different from uh, our bodies which is only mm, curved uh, topology uh, where we will just eliminate all the triangle fans or angles well by using the uh, curved hard surfaces by applying its subsurface modifiers to make it become even runner and also tell it, for example, we can see the tell it uh, hard edge by the mean bevel weight. While at the same time, we also need to use two, uh, two atoms. The one is the box cutter, the another is hard ops to make complicated uh, shapes with a combination of both the crew shapes and uh, the squared complicated mechanism uh, creatures as well. So for such kind of shapes, it will just be much faster than only using the full, tri uh, full quartz topo topologized, topologized meshes. And uh, using such kind of method will just be much easier and simple and faster. Uh, 
And also there is another part we can just use. Actually, is for example, like we can see、uh, this part, and this is also another side wings as the accessories for our main、uh, main bodies. That there actually we can see there are not too many curved areas or curved shapes of those kind of hot wings. So、uh, we can、uh, actually most functions are well just be. In used in hot ups and box cutters and decal machines, we can simply see its effect. So we can find a lot of decals. Actually, these are being made with decal machine to add more tiny details. If we just move into the render, we can also see that、uh, the workflow of it. So it is will be pretty fast for us to make some. Uh, concept types, for example, like the concept games, without too many、uh, curved areas、uh, to 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 make it become faster. So before we start, I just want to、uh, remove so much nonsense I have said before, and let's just directly jump into our bullet point to make the top two parts down. So. Uh, we move into the edit mode and、uh, have a quick reference about our AI-generated pictures as well as concept idea to、mm, help us make our future concept become much easier and、uh, at the same time not so ugly. So make our、uh, mode. Models looks to be not so ugly. Also, also and very important part. We can、um, cut some general shapes of it, like such one, right? And、uh, tell planner、uh, which part will just be the most important, and、uh, which part will, for example, we can see that. Uh, can be used as the curved area, right? So、uh, we are just going to using the subdivision. So I recommend you to keep all the same thing to quads, and do not using bevel so instantly right now. Okay, and we are just going to using bevel as the second step where we have. Accepted it. So we can see we have already made a very general shape of it, and I do not want to make anything rather more than that. So we can also make one like that and、uh, extrude it. And the interior part, as we can see, to make it double G to move it, looks to be a little bit. Uh, smoothening that's transforming, okay, and we can also make this part like that. So these are the very basic and general shape that、um, outfits. And then when we got it down, we can、uh, select all of it, all of it, and go to mesh, symmetrize.、Uh, we can select negative Y to Active Y. And one of the most important things we can also move our center point a little bit. For example,、uh, we can move the object set origin to center of mass surface, like that. Or then we can also. Uh, move that, and uh, uh, we can shift that cursor to、uh, select it. 